Okay. Kansas State will be up here in just a second. We're going to have head coach Jerome Tang. We will have senior forward Keontae Johnson. We will have senior guard Marquise Noel. And we will have junior forward Ish Masood. What's good, Ebo? Quick note as these guys take their seats. Marquise Noel with 19 assists in today's game. That is an NCAA tournament record. Any round. So Marquise with 19 assists is an NCAA tournament record. <laughs> 19 assists is crazy. 19 assists is crazy, bro. We have to celebrate a little bit. Hope y'all didn't mind, but work too darn hard not to come in here. <laughs> not, not to Crazy. enjoy a little bit, right? You feel me? Okay. Um, hey, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I'm just telling you, like, people, like, I would not be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for his faithfulness in my life and guidance. And every one of these guys up here, their faith is important to them. It doesn't matter what their faith is, but it's important to them. It guides their life, right? And I see it. I've seen it in their work ethic. I've seen it in how they treat people off the court. And I hope y'all saw the love that, that they have for each other, the joy with which they play, and the freedom that they're allowed to be out there and play with. And man, I, I'm just really, really thankful. I get to yell at them at practice one more day and you know I just, I just we just get to spend another day and dap each other up getting on and off the all the little things that really really matter oh, man I'm just so thankful for that we'll start with questions for the student athletes for about five minutes and then we'll go to coach we'll start over here in row two on this side Zach Brazil in New York Post Marquise could you put into words what tonight was like for you uh, a New York City guy to play that way in your hometown Man, um, I just want to give all the honor and glory to the man himself uh, for giving me this platform to showcase, you know, my talents and my gifts. Um, but today was a special one, man. Uh, I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates for battling, um, for fighting through adversity when we were, when we was down. Um, I can't I can't even explain how I'm feeling right now. I just know that you know I'm blessed and I'm grateful. We'll come across the other side right here in row one. Mark. From Marquise and I guess Jerome, uh, on the reverse alley oop play, is that a fake play call you guys are doing between each other? What's going on there? <laughs> we'll start with Marquise. Uh, can't tell him because then the next team knows. I mean, it was just a basketball play uh, between me and Keontae. Uh, we 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 knew how Michigan State, you know, plays defense. They play high up. Um, and Keontae just told me like we got eye contact, and he was like, "Lob, lob." You know, I just I just threw it up, and he he made a, a great play. Have you ever? Oh. Have you ever oh. gained that many assists? Uh, no. This is this is probably my career high in assists. You know, ever I had a couple games of 14, a couple games of 17 back in high school, but you know this one was special in front of my hometown, in front of you know the city, you know that loves me. Um, I can't even put into words, you know how how blessed and grateful I am. We'll stay on this side, a couple rows back, right there at the end. <clears throat> Quote you correctly on uh, uh, running down the court. It looked like you yelled, "This is my city." Uh, a time yeah, or two. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, it is. just want to make sure that was accurate. <laughs> and I, I just wonder if you could also describe the pain you were in and and what it took to get back in the game and um, at at that moment. And if if Ish and Keontae could speak to what it meant when he came back in, please. Uh, you know what? Go ahead, Keontae. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, he's our starting point guard. Um, his IQ, his feel for the game, um, he brings everybody confidence. And for when he came back, I mean, I felt like it just everybody seen how he was trying to fight through his injury, and we just wanted to fight back for him. So, uh, I just wanted to do it for my teammates, man. I just love being out there with with, with these guys. Um, and I wasn't going to let it, a little injury like this that you know happens on the basketball court all the time. Um, to stop me from playing in the Sweet 16 and advancing to the Elite Eight. Um, but, man, you know, got to give credit to, to my teammates for holding it down when I was out um, and for battling. We'll go across the room to my right all the way over. Go ahead, third row. Yeah, Ish. Uh, what's it, have you ever played in the Garden before, and what's it like to have your biggest game of the season in your home city? Uh, this, this is my first time playing in the Garden. And, you know, it's, it's surreal. I, I first want to just say, you know, happy Ramadan to all the Muslims out there that are fasting. And I, I wish for nothing but blessings the rest of the month. And, you know, um, 
it's really just credit to God, credit to my teammates. I mean, they got the belief in me to find me and get me shots, and I, all I had to do was knock it down. It's just, it's surreal. I, I don't think it hit me yet, but, you know, it's uh, just praise to God, praise to my teammates, praise to my coaching staff. I'm just blessed. Okay, we're going to come back across the room, far side here on my left. Uh, Mike Randall, FTN Network. For Keontae Marquise, you guys had a tremendous amount of success getting into the lane and getting them on the baseline. Not just the lob to Keontae, but he had a three in the first half, and you also got a lot of back doors. Without saying too much, was that a goal of yours? That's something you saw during the game you could take advantage of? Start with Keontae. Um, Michigan State, uh, they do a lot of ball watching, so Keese has always told me when he drives, just keep cutting, and he's going to look for me here. We just, the IQ, I mean, the feel that we have for each other, we just showed today. Uh, to piggyback off of what Keontae said, uh, let's give credit to Michigan State. I mean, they play, you know, a tremendous game um, on the offensive end and defensive end. Um, it, it was it was like a Rocky fight tonight. I mean, we was going <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, some guys made some big-time plays. So uh, I just want to give a, a credit to Tom Izzo and uh, Michigan State. We're going to go up the aisle here in row two. <clears throat> uh, Marquise Jeff Barzello, ESPN. A couple of people said before the alley oop to Keontae, you looked at the crowd and said, "Watch this." Can you can you confirm or deny that? Dang, I gotta watch what I say. I mean, so I'll be in the zone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Isaiah Thomas because uh, I think he had a friend um, over there, um, and he was rooting for them. And I'm like, "Y'all not gonna win today." And I just kept looking at him for some, you know, added motivation. But you know, it was nothing but but cool vibes with um, them over there. We'll go I, back. Oh, go ahead, Jeff. And I just want to ask, what did you see today? I mean, 19 assists. You had 14 against Montana State in the first round. What are you seeing in this tournament with, you know, with your teammates coming to the basket, things like that? I mean, um, I'm just trying to get my teammates involved uh, because, you know, a lot of guys on the team could do different things. Um, and we are best when we all sharing the ball, passing the ball around the perimeter, and different guys is getting into double figures, you know, on the scoring, you know, uh, category. But – you know, credit to my teammates. I mean, I wouldn't have 19 assists if they, you know, didn't make any shots. So credit to Ish, Keontae, David, Naquan, and everybody that played today for allowing me to have this career high in assists. Stay on the aisle one row back. <clears throat> Alec Bussey, Rivals. Um, Ish, you've come through in big moments like this all season. Can you explain um, what gives you the confidence and why you're able to make these clutch shots throughout the season? Uh, for one, I mean, uh, I just try and take every shot one at a time, one shot at a time. I try and think of you know what's important. I try to just take everything play by play, and just be ready uh, whenever the moment comes because of the work I put in and the, the work, uh, my the faith and trust my team is having me to come to the, come to me in those moments. So it's really just a, a combination of all those things. We're gonna do one more question for student athletes to dismiss. And reminder: the locker room is open until 9:42. Other side of the aisle, one row back. Meredith Cash, Insider Keontae, this one's for you. Um, your comeback story has been told throughout the season and there's been some emphasis on the money you left on the table in order to be here and to bet on yourself. Um, I'm curious what tonight is like, you know, playing on this stage, in this arena, winning this game in this fashion. What is it like for you to be here like this? Um, I mean, it's a blessing. Just, I always say that. Um, God gave me a second chance and I'm just out here taking advantage of it. Um, just having fun. I wanted to get the win for my guys, all my teammates from New York. And so that was a big part of my um, goal today and just keep it going. I've never been to Houston, so um, my motto is try to get to Houston and just keep this going, really. Okay, we'll dismiss the student athletes at this Appreciate time. Congratulations, Thank fellas. You. We will see you on Saturday. Once again, Kansas State locker room is open until 942. We'll take questions for Coach Tang at this time. We'll start in the middle, one row back. Nope, one row up from there. Nope, he'll be second. There you go, first. Second one will be in the Thank back. you, Coach. I got to ask you, everybody's talking about the offense, of course, the 19 assists and the all-time record. But I got to talk about the defense because <laughs> that's the way the game ended to start with. But how many times did they pick the pockets of these great guards? Or your, your you know, guards outplayed, is that possible to say? Outplayed their guards. And they have some very good jobs. So defensively, what was the mindset coming in? What kind of freedom, what kind of confidence do you provide for them? Um, we, we've, we've caused a lot of turnovers all year long. And um, Michigan State is a low turnover team. And we really just wanted to turn it into a one-on-one -on -one game to take away because Coach Izzo runs such great actions. And um, our guys happen to make some plays. We, and all that 
reaching and stuff, we put him at the free throw line a lot too. So um, I, I, it was just yeah, I, I, they have really good guards, and we have really good guards, and it it showed tonight. Stay on the aisle, one row back. Jerome, uh, Kevin Fielder from Alice 24 7. Marquise Noel obviously had 19 assists, but as a coach, when you're game planning for your offense, how much does having a guard like Marquise and knowing that he can see so much of the court help? Well, what really helps is that all 10 eyes on the defense have to pay attention to him, and that's what allows everybody else to get open. Right, and so it's not just that he sees it, but they all have to pay attention to him when he has the ball in his hands. We'll go one more back, same side. Tom Marion with AP Radio. What does it mean, Coach, to get to the regional final? <laughs> I mean, it means I get to spend a few more days with our guys. It's a, a, a huge accomplishment. I mean, uh, this thing is hard, right? It's, it's hard to do, and so, man, when it, when it happens, you just have to really embrace it and enjoy it and um, – and, and not, like, take a moment, you know? We got to take a moment and just really soak this thing in before we move on to the next thing. Now, the next thing is really huge, whoever we have to play. And, you know, but um, we've kind of just taken everything 1-0 and every day and every aspect of the day. And um, so I'm really thankful for the opportunity. We're going to come up here in front. We got two up here. Go ahead. Jack Ebling to drive with Jack and press pass. Coach, what were you thinking when Marquis – hobbled off the court and you saw Michigan State with that 9-2 run while he was out. And is that the fastest you've ever put a player back in the game? <laughs> no, we probably had a couple others where we got guys back in pretty quick. But when I saw Marquise go down and, and hobble off, I knew he wasn't staying out, right? Like that dude didn't come here to, to be injured on his last college game. So I knew he was coming back in. And and we get guys hurt at practice all the time, and we have to move on to the next thing. And every guy in the huddle said, next man up, let's go. And, and then, you know, everybody responded. We'll go back on the aisle on the right side. J.P. Acosta, SB Nation. Coach, I was wondering how you foster such a team in a, in a room full of creativity and fun. This team looks like they play with a lot of fun between the no-look passes. Marquise was taking – threes from the logo with two minutes left in the game. How do you foster that kind of creativity and fun and the passion that these guys play with? Well, you know, they've all played this game for a really long time, and they all see the game a certain way. And my job is not to make them see it the way I want it played. My job is to figure out how they play best and then put them in an environment where they can do that. And so they know I have confidence in them. I know they want to win. And so – any shot or play is made is, is never made with that they're trying to do something to hurt the team. They're trying to help the team. And so, I mean, we only had eight turnovers today. So I'd rather him shoot from the logo than turn the ball over. We'll stay on the aisle. Just one row up. Hi, Coach. Amanda Kristovich from Front Office Sports. Um, so in a world of football, the Big 12 has been trying to brand itself also as a basketball conference. Would you agree that it's a basketball conference? I think we've been a basketball conference. That's, I mean, last four years we've had the number one uh, rating. And, I mean, this year I thought we had ten teams in our league that could play in the NCAA tournament. It, this is not new. Our, the last two national champions have been from our conference. And, uh, and if it wasn't for COVID, uh, I think it would have been the last three. And, and even if you back up one, uh, Texas Tech losing in overtime, it could have been four in a row. So we've been a basketball We're the best basketball conference in the country. And the coaches in our league are Hall of Famers. And I'm just thankful to be in, even associated with any of them. We've got time for two more. We're going to do them here on the far side of the left. Yep, go ahead. Coach, congratulations. Jeff Magliacetti here with uh, SI.com, Fan Nation, all Knicks. So, Mike, your player, you touched on it before, your players in the huddle when Marquise went down, their message to each other was next man up. So my question for you is, what was your message to them, and who do you think stepped up during that period where Marquise was kind of rehabbing, getting back into the rhythm of things on the bench a little bit? Yeah, m my message was the same. Next man up. We've been here before. You know, this, this happened. We, we, we move on. And then I, I felt like collectively they came together you know, and try, tried to figure it out. Last question right hey, here. Coach, Dan McQuaid, Defector Media. Um, what, what did you tell your team before that last defensive play in the uh, overtime? Get a stop. <laughs> 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 you know, we, we tried to align the matchup so that when they set screens and we switched, we had more size on their guards. 
Um, Cause they did a good job of getting downhill and then shooting over the top of our smaller guards. And then, but Cam did a great job of getting a deflection and then somebody else got one. And, you know, when the ball was bouncing around, you know, and not in their hands, it, it played in our favor. Okay, coach, we appreciate you taking the time. Hey, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. We'll see you on Saturday. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. We go, go Cats. Once again, K-State locker room is open until 9.42. It is currently 9.31, so 11 more minutes in the K-State locker room. Michigan State will be up here in just a minute or two.